Okay, today I'm uh, filming Oakley House's uh, Christmas show. And Oakley, I filmed for them for again many years. Uh, the lovely, that's just such a lovely school, so friendly. The children are really nice, polite, happy. So they make Christmas what it is, to be honest. Uh, for me, Christmas always starts with these Christmas shows, but because of all the restrictions, parents aren't allowed to come and watch so it's just me and uh, students and the teachers there this new variant that's come out apparently is not as dangerous and so but it's considerably considerably more contagious than uh, the previous variants so it's still cause for concern and I've brought my industrial mask you know with the filters again and I uh, disinfectant I'll call disinfectant I'm gonna wear a normal mask one of these sort of like uh, surgical blue surgical masks and then the industrial mask with the full visor and filters either side over that which makes breathing very difficult but again I've got to do what I've got to do to make sure other people are safe and I'm not a super carrier I'm going to be in Oakley by about half seven and uh, it's gonna be it's nine performances and each performance is like 10 minutes long and then in the edit oh, I need to stitch them all together to make one big show so I'm sure last year was quite interesting because there was no audience we could use the whole of the hall all the uh, both sides so there's a stage side and the side where the audience would sit down in and uh, it was amazing the way uh, they've choreographed it and directed it was just genius absolute genius so i'm looking forward to today but uh, after this week i think my last filming is this saturday no sunday sorry and after that uh, I've got to start editing everything to get them out to um, uh, all the clients so I normally do that in Christmas anyway it's Christmas time for me is to do uh, all the edits for December and also to do all the admin stuff for the year so I don't actually get any time off uh, for Christmas but it's okay because my work's not like work because I actually enjoy it I don't know what I would do to be honest if I didn't do this because I genuinely love what I do uh, it doesn't feel like I'm going to work even though it's early hours in the morning it just does not feel like I'm going to work I had two hours sleep last night but that's normal for me because I just don't want to sleep. I just want to get up and work. <laughs> this school bus Scooby bus is so cool I used to think this belongs to Oakley but it actually doesn't apparently it's one of the residents that bought it that is fantastic oh, why are the gates closed
Okay, just finished uh, filming Oakley House's show and they were incredible. The little ones were so adorable and the teachers are just so lovely. So it's a fantastic day. But yes, Oakley is lovely. Genuinely love that school. People are so friendly, so friendly. The teachers are just amazing. And the kids, especially the babies, were so adorable, you know, in their snowman costumes and they were on stage looking so excited because obviously they're performing. And one of the most amazing things, which I will remember forever, is after I finished, because we had to shoot in segments, and after I finished filming um, one of the segments, one of the years, this little girl, I don't know, she must have been like six, seven, came up to me and said, literally, I was there just waiting for the next group to come on. She came in, she went, I just wanted to say thank you ever so much uh, for taking time out of your busy day to come down and film us. I thought, oh, it's so sweet. And the teacher was standing there. She, afterwards, the teacher said, do you know what? I'm going to... Um, give her an award of some kind uh, you know but that's what I'm talking about about the school encouraging good behavior so nobody prompted her to do that or to say that it's just her doing it because she was polite and afterwards um, the teacher actually said did say that uh, apparently her parents are exactly the same her parents are so lovely as well but it is, at the end of the day, it's upbringing. But to be honest, I mean, I could never be a teacher. I, I think teachers are, uh, it's a calling because you need patience of a saint to be a teacher. And I just don't have the patience. I know I don't. Maybe you learn it, but I know I don't. So I'm an impatient person. So I could never be a teacher. But it does worry me though, what, I mean, if you think about it, people go on about doctors and nurses, but the reality is the teachers are also uh, exceptionally at risk considering what's going on at the moment. It's not just doctors and nurses and, you know, it's teachers as well. They're, constantly with kids in a room with no mask, no protection. So I've got a lot of respect for it. A lot of respect for it. 